Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and this Overwatch 2 video is going to be especially spicy because we have confirmed hero reworks, unconfirmed hero leaks, and very low resolution hero skin redesigns. So in the words of Philip DeFranco, let's just jump into it. First and foremost, can we talk about this man Doomfist? Because not only is he getting one of the most iconic hero reworks, but he's probably getting the most iconic skin redesign going into Overwatch 2. They gave my man the Canadian goose with the fur coating around his neck, looking like Drake in a GTA cinematic. But besides the skin catching the eyes of many, it's also the idea of him now officially becoming a tank, which we've known about for <laughs> weeks now because of other Overwatch 2 leaks. But now it's confirmed that he's actually going to be a tank with 400, <laughs> I repeat, 400, oh yeah, and 50 health. But if you're a Doomfist main and you're scared that you're not going to be able to get all the cheesy kills that you can get right now, well, you'd be slightly right because there are a few key changes about Doomfist that's making him less of a DPS. First and foremost, his uppercut ability, now it's just gone. And that makes sense because that's one of his iconic CC abilities and Overwatch 2, the ideology here is that we're trying to remove CC as much as possible. But that doesn't mean CC is going to be going away in its entirety. With his ultimate, while it does less damage as a whole, it's going to be adding a slow to any enemy that gets caught in that fire. His seismic slam, if you leap onto somebody, which is now described like a Winston jump, it's going to be slowing enemies down along with also still doing damage. And finally, his rocket punch more or less is now a rocket slap, but you're still going to be able to do damage and pin people up against the wall against their will in a very sexy sort of way. But if we just mosey on down to his brand new ability titled Power Block, this is the thing that makes him a tank. I wouldn't describe it like a main tank ability, but it's something that protects himself from frontal attacks. So any kind of bullets like Soldier, Cole Cassidy, you're going to be able to protect yourself, but not necessarily your team. This is why I think he's going to be even more of a greedy tank than Rodog, because even when you absorb the damage, it's going to empower your rocket punch. So you're not trying to protect the team with the power power block, you're trying to absorb all the damage so you can do even more damage yourself. <laughs> the power block ability is really what's going to separate good Doomfist players from godlike Doomfist players that makes this hero even more broken than what it is in Overwatch 1, uh, all because of what it provides, protection, but also more DPS potential. And that's going to be really, really scary in bad team scenarios, but when people just learn to really utilize Doomfist and everything that he offers. But Doomfist isn't the only tank getting reworked, even though he's still technically a DPS right now, but a Chris is getting a rework because she is probably considered to be one of the worst tanks in Overwatch right now. So what was the Overwatch team's idea to make Orisa better? Well, they removed her protective barrier and they removed her halt ability and they completely gutted her ultimate and deleted her supercharger. Huh? So she's no longer a shield tank hero because now the shield of Orisa is supposed to be her javelin spin. The javelin is going to be the most iconic thing about Orisa because it's not only an ability, but it's her secondary fire and also her new ultimate. But specifically with the javelin spin, this is something that deflects a bunch of projectiles coming your way. Think of it like Genji's deflect. But you're also going to be able to provide your team space by forcibly pushing back the enemy team and increase your speed. So it's really going to all depend on how how long the cooldown is for the javelin spin to really make or break Arissa because when you delete her whole entire shield I mean like how is she not gonna be an ultimate battery just like how Rodog is right now and well maybe that's the idea that they're trying to go for with Arissa is trying to make her a greedy off tank hero because now we have a new DPS ability in the form of her energy javelin and this is very interesting because it's able to stun and stop an enemy I'm guessing momentarily but it does even more damage if you throw the javelin and an enemy and it pins them against the wall. I kind of picture it like Doomfist's punch where it does damage, but if they just splat against the wall, it doubles or something. Now I'll add a layer of skill that I feel like Orisa desperately needs right now because all you really do is just aimlessly shoot your 150 ammo clip, which just got completely removed in Overwatch 2 because now instead of ammo, you have infinite ammo, but it uses this heat mechanic, which I'm guessing takes inspiration from like flamethrowers in FPS games where if you shoot it long enough, it just overheats and you have to wait for it to cool down but the less you shoot it the less you have to wait for that cooldown to actually happen and along with that now your projectiles start off large but shrink down i'm guessing the longer that you shoot because it takes up a lot like the molten or the fusion within your gun it's going to be a very interesting mechanic that we haven't seen in overwatch because like with diva she has infinite ammo but she doesn't have any cooldown she can just infinitely shoot but with Arissa, you actually have to pay attention to how long you're shooting because not only over time will you do less damage but you also just overheat your whole entire arm like Arissa really has just changed from this mindless aim shoot hero to this hero that you have to really look around to your environment either on yourself or towards the enemy 
money because that applies to your ultimate where you're sweeping enemies and drag them in close to you kind of similar like Zarya's grab and you're going to quote unquote unleash the surge which I'm guessing just means they're gonna unleash a bunch of damage I don't really know how I feel about her ultimate because it just I, I don't know how much damage it does I don't know how much the surge will provide and how quick the enemies will be drawn in I like the fact that you get fortified with the ultimate automatically and the fact that fortified just got completely buffed all around but I mean overall Oris is gonna be one of the most interesting heroes in overwatch 2 just because I mean you remove so many abilities you remove three abilities if you count her ultimate and one of the most iconic ones is her shield so how is she just not gonna be absorbing all the damage I guess if fortify has like a two second cooldown it should be fine and the javelin spin has like a one second but I don't know man I feel like she's gonna be feeding on a whole different level but maybe that's what they're wanting to go for with all the tanks is that hey you get no protection for yourself and your team so that we can actually kill things which hey if that's the case that's fine because coming from a DPS player I just want to shoot and kill things but Orisa with her current hitbox right now whoo, maybe the skin redesign for Orisa will save her because right now Doomfist is winning in all the tank categories versus the two and he's not even a tank yet <laughs> well if we're talking about skin redesigns for tank let's talk about Roadhog because he's sporting this black leather jacket with a red trim on his gun and shoulder come on now how come all the overwatch heroes are absolutely dripped out in this game and is hook too getting it from the black decker chain line like my god roadhog you're really stepping up your game becoming a little bit more sophisticated but we can still see your butt crack so maybe you gotta go to gucci and get a belt to match that black leather jacket my boy <laughs> well last and final thing that i'll talk about that has even worse resolution than that roadhog picture is this cole cassidy rework where they seemingly changed his flashbang into an exploding grenade of some sort there's not much context within this this video it's literally just Cole Cassidy throwing an explosion which I mean could easily be the flashbang just now having a more updated and like look to it but I mean it wouldn't surprise me if they replace this flashbang because again overwatch 2 they're trying to remove a lot of the CC and we already see with doomfist that they removed the uppercut ability they kept the seismic slam and kept his rocket punch so one of the most iconic things about Cole Cassidy is the flashbang and that's also a big reason why you play him is to stop a lot of flank heroes so it'd be like I say this for a lot of hero reworks it'd be very interesting to see if they completely remove that and change it or just do something to the cowboy but again that's just the leak but everything else besides the Cole Cassidy thing is already confirmed Doomfist becoming a tank Arissa becoming whatever she is and Roadhog being completely dripped out and I want to know what you guys think about all this stuff coming out right before the Overwatch 2 beta which again is going to be on Tuesday and it's going to be very exciting like the Overwatch 2 beta is going to be kind of like reminding me of the olden days of Overwatch where everyone's just trying to figure out Overwatch 2 all over again but until that day comes we are still going to be playing Overwatch 1 so anyway guys I love you guys thank you guys for watching more Overwatch videos to come and bye.